Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday and welcome back to another week. This week, of course, we are finishing up the Sophocles presentations and starting our Shakespeare. So let me share and let's take a look at what's happening this week. All right. So Scrolling down, of course, we are currently entering week number six. Um, so this is the second to the last week of module two, the quote unquote ancient roots module. So this week, in addition to finishing your videos for the um, Sophocles presentations, uh, you're going to start reading A Midsummer Night's Dream. You have until the end of next week to finish it. Um, and then you're going to have a paper that is about society and drama, not necessarily the um, Midsummer Night's Dream, but uh, it will help influence you and be thinking about that. So you do have a discussion board to post this week on the Shakespeare play. All right. So let's go ahead and go to the modules and remind ourselves where we are. Of course, we are still in module two, so nothing is new yet necessarily. The materials are all where they have always been. So if we look at the readings, activities, and assignments link, week six, of course, here is a link to the Midsummer Night's Dream in the LibGuide. And then we have the two things that are due, the Sophocles groups, which is where you'll turn in the presentation itself, the, the video itself. And then discussion board three, which is thoughts on Shakespeare. So I want to go over that one a little bit. Um, on one hand, Midsummer Night's Dream is a comedy about love and magic. On the other hand, though, there's a story about a ruler, Theseus, who is taking a wife he quote unquote won in a war, who takes charge of his citizens and their love lives. We also have a fairy king and queen who dilly dally in the affairs of humans. Finally, we have a group of bumbling working class folk who provide amusement for the rich and famous. So explore any aspect of the play in terms of, of what it says about one of the following. So you can focus on one of these three things, either the government affair interference in the life of its citizens, rulers who use others for their amusement slash gain, or the social classes and their roles in society. Um, mostly, I want you to have fun with it. Um, you obviously need to have read most of the play before you tackle this, but um, do include some direct quotations. It is, you know, you are writing about a play. Um, there are a lot of good video versions of this particular play. And if I'm not mistaken, they actually have one in the LibGuide. Let's double check. So we go to the LibGuides. We need to go to the modules and ancient roots. Yeah, so here is the play, of course, um, the Shakespeare play original and a uh, a kind of modern language version of it. Then we have a link to the video um, for A Midsummer Night's Dream, and we have author biography and critical analysis. So if you uh, will take a look at those, I would suggest watching a version um, if uh, if the one here is available. There's, I saw, in fact, the other night it was on television, um, a really old version of it, um, which is kind of interesting to, to see the early, early, early 20th century versions that were done as well. Um, so I would watch a version because of course, Shakespeare's language can be kind of tough. Um, but this version, I want to make sure this is the one I think it is. Oh, no, this isn't the one I think it is, but this is a full version of the play. Um, the the best known Hollywood version of it in recent times uh, starred Michelle Pfeiffer um, and. Uh, oh, my gosh, I just drew a blank. I cannot think of his name. Anyway, Michelle Pfeiffer and company. <laughs> um, Stanley Tucci plays Puck. Uh, it's a very good version. Uh, but this is a full version. And of course, it even has the transcript, which will help you kind of follow along. So you could actually read the play by watching the play, um, which is always, uh, always a good thing. And uh, I am looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say about it. Um, 
people have mixed reactions to Midsummer Night's Dream, and that is actually kind of fun. Um, so next week, we're going to be writing our next official paper. Um, you can certainly feel free to preview the assignment. Um, this week, It is the assignment is linked right here. Um, but that is not due until the end of next week. So I will be talking about that more when we get back together next Monday. All right. In the meantime, as usual, if you have any questions, let me know and I will see you in your presentations.